I just opened this and I have a roll of Portra 400 in here that I don't know when I put in. And this camera is like, I don't know if it's broken, I don't know if the battery's not working, but if you look in the viewfinder, you can see it's just dark in there. And there's obviously no lens cover on it, so I think the battery's dead. Let's switch that out so I can see. what to do because I accidentally pressed this button which means it's released from this side and is ready to wind back into the canister. I'm not ready to wind it back but should I just do it? I think at this point we might have to because it's broken. Popping this open. I don't want to let the light in but I think I have to. Final decision. I think we're winding it back. This $20 roll of film, this pains me. I hate to have to waste this, but I don't think I have any other choice at this point. So that'll be a fun experiment. See, now I'm extremely confused because I still can't see through the eyepiece and this will not move back any further, so we need to workshop that. Guys, I fixed it. I don't know what I did or why it wasn't working, but I think I just wasted that roll of film. Like, I could have easily fixed this. All I had to do was change the ISO setting. I don't- I forget what it was on, but this guy in the video said turn it to M90 if you still have a roll of film in there, because I thought the thing was jammed, but I turned it to M90 and look. Wait. Nice. And now I can see through as well. I really don't know what happened, but we're back in business. It's a learning and growing experience for me. So we're gonna put in a new roll and I'm gonna take you along shooting this roll. I haven't shot on this camera literally in years. Like I was just doing disposable and point and shoot at school and in high school because it's just easier. And obviously I don't wanna destroy this camera when I'm like, having fun so we're shooting a roll don't know exactly what I'm going to shoot but I want to take you along with me just for a little background usually I shoot nothing like artistic like I was just doing it for fun taking pictures of memories like going out and in college and just like memories with friends and that's why I kind of made that film photography video back a year ago just because I know there's a ton of people who are getting into it, especially in college. Also with this video, I wanted to show you guys more of my life rather than just a uh, informational kind of video. So this will be fun. I'm excited to show you guys and take you along this journey of me testing out this camera for the first time in literally years. Let's load a new roll of film in here if I remember how to correctly. All right, that was a lot easier than I remember. I am about to go on a walk. Change of plans. We're going to New York today and I'm bringing you along shooting this roll. I'm not gonna bring my vlog camera. I'm just gonna bring this and my phone. So I'll take you guys along with me. <laughs>
up Lafayette Street earlier and I saw Evan Mock, who's in the new Gossip Girl, and I wish I stopped and took a picture of him on film. That would have been so cool. I'm on picture number 24 out of 36, so 12 more to go. Washington Muse right by Washington Square Park. I love this street. It's just so pretty. They were filming something down there. I took a few pictures also. Roll is done. Going to drop it off to develop, but I'm gonna go to a local film shop and I'll take you along with me. So I'm here at my local film developing spot in New Jersey. If you're in Paramus, I go to Moto Photo and they're pretty good. Their turnaround time is a few hours, which is great. And it's pretty simple. You just go give them this. Sorry, there's landscaping back there. You go, you just hand them this. They probably know exactly what to do and then they just tell you how much it is and you give them your email and phone number and they email it back to you. So, highly recommend going to a local place. Turnaround time is so much faster and honestly I just love being able to support somewhere local. It's around 4 p.m. so he said by tomorrow night, which is not bad. I ended up paying 2028 20, for that roll, which is not bad. I didn't take you in because I got scared, but see you when the pictures come back for a reaction but i'm sure you've already seen them because i kind of clipped them in with the live photos but guys so yesterday the guy told me that the pictures would come back tonight the day after so i checked my email didn't get anything went to the dropbox folder that he created last time opened it and saw this Honestly, it's kind of funny that they just uploaded this picture to let me know that my role was blank. I I don't even know what to say. I, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know. I really don't know. This video is really chaotic and I really thought it was going well, but that's what you get with film, I guess. Well, sorry to disappoint. I think I'm still going to post this video anyway because I was really excited about it and I really like the clips. But huge learning experience. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. Of course, when I film this video, that happens. Anyways, I will do another one of these because I'm not giving up. If you stayed through this video, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I promise I will do another one and it will turn out better. It's just been a while since I've done film and photography in general. So I will see you next time. Hopefully there will be a better outcome. Goodbye.